Hey guys, today I want to have a discussion with you about transitioning your fitness program into a holistic program where you train your body so that you can have a better sense of well-being and so that your mind is more optimal and you don't have so much negativity, right? So I'll give you a story of how I used to train at the gym. So I started lifting at 14 going into my freshman year and I trained, you know, I, I lifted, right? I did compound movements, I did bench press, I did squats, I did deadlifts, I did all of it. And during this time, I, I was still not, uh, I, I hadn't learned about intermittent fasting yet. So I was still eating breakfast, I was still eating a snack in between meals, right? So about six meals a day. Uh, and you know I was lifting but I wasn't doing any of the stuff that I do, do now that I think uh, is crucial for a holistic program that really um, ensures that you're healthy you're well and it, it just it's overall a complete program so what I do now is I lift about three times a week right sorry let me uh, back up a little bit yeah so I lift about three times a week, I'll do push, pull, legs, right? Three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But during the days that I have that I don't lift, I, uh, I'll i do fasting. Well, I, I usually do intermittent fasting every day, right? And then I will, uh, I'll do some bioenergetics and I'll meditate, right? And bioenergetics is uh, breathing exercises. I might make a, a video about, or I'll make a video of me demonstrating some exercises in the future, but uh, it's great. I sometimes will do the Wim Hof method and I'll meditate, right? I'll meditate and I'll walk in nature, right? And that's usually what I do. I try to do those actually every day, but those are some of the things, and I stretch. Oh, I forgot to mention that. I do yoga, not like the Kundalini or Kriya, right? Not, I'm not there yet, right? I'm gonna experience that in the future, but for now I just do basic uh, full body stretches, right? And that, those four things, right? I don't know how many it was, like five things. I just started doing about two years ago, right? And before that, of course, you know, I was eating six meals a day, stuffing my face, right? Uh, I would, you know, eat whatever the hell I could to put on muscle mass, right? To bulk, right? I was obsessed with putting on muscle, right? And in a way, when you eat like that, you're stressing you're stressing your body out a lot, right? So you're not gonna be as clear, clear in your mind when you're doing that. Uh, so that's problematic in many ways. But again, like most gym bros right now, they just lift and then they eat a shit ton of food, they don't stretch, they don't do any breathing exercises, and they wonder why they still feel like shit, right? Uh, you know, they'll do cardio, they'll run, they'll do sprints, they'll do hit, and they still feel like shit. And you know, everybody's, uh, you know, we've been told, oh, exercise reduces stress, anxiety, depression. So they just think that doing that and eating six meals a day is gonna, you know, reduce their anxiety and depression. But fasting, stretching, being in nature, meditation and breathing exercises, and reducing your meat intake uh, need to be need to be implemented in your life if you're going to feel better and have a holistic program, right? Because again, if you're just bulking for the sake of bulking, right? Most of us, what? We want to lift because we want to look attractive to girls, right? We want to attract girls, right? And that's cool, right? I was there. But you can still look great if you fast and you lift at least three times a week. You don't have to do six days a week, man. <laughs> It's just too much. I remember I do push pull legs twice a week. So I'd have, I don't know, I'd do Sunday, I'd work out Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, rest Wednesday, uh, Thursday, you know, work out Thursday, Friday, Saturday, rest Sunday, and then repeat that. And with that, you're not giving your body enough time to uh, recover, right? With this, right, when you just lift three days a week and you do these extra things that are great for your body and your mind, you're giving your body enough time to recover, right? 
because you're not eating, right? And when you're not eating, your body's doing other things because it doesn't have to digest all the food that you ate, right? So yeah, that really, you know, that's really the point I was trying to drive here. Uh, the point I was trying to drive home is look at your, your weightlifting routine, right? And there's nothing wrong with lifting weights a lot, right? I mean, it's better than sitting down and playing video games all day, of course, right? Of course. But, uh, you know, try to look at other ways you can uh, exercise your body and mind, right? Like I said, Wim Hof breathing's great. Cold showers are great. Uh, just expand, right? You don't want to be just lifting all the time to bulk. I mean, you can do that, but... Again, there's so many other uh, ways that we can enhance our well-being, right? And it's not just about your body looking great, right? Of course, that's initially what you need, right? You need a good body. But when you fast, especially fasting, when you take cold showers, when you go to nature, when you meditate, and when you focus on deep breathing through your diaphragm, then you are gonna feel way better than if you just lifted and you know ate six meals a day, right? So yeah, it's about having a holistic program where you focus on every dimension of health and fitness. So yeah, that's kinda the point of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you implement these things. They're important, they work. Uh, not too many people do them, but you can start and you can spread the message. So I pass the torch on to you. Uh, so yeah, that concludes this video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell to the right so you get notified when I upload. If you have any questions, video recommendations, comments, or whatever, leave them down below and I will do my best to get back at you and give you some feedback. And as always, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.